Independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. wants you to know how much the government is spending on toilet seats. During a campaign stop in Michigan on Sunday, RFK Jr. proposed using blockchain technology to manage the U.S. budget. Blockchain technology is an immutable ledger crucial for cryptocurrencies and secure digital transactions. Data is stored in blocks linked by cryptography, ensuring that once added, information is transparent, tamper-proof, and permanently unalterable. Blockchains are decentralized, meaning they are maintained by multiple participants across different locations, not owned by a single entity. This characteristic makes them transparent and resistant to control or interference by any one party. Let's hear from one of its co-inventors to explain it further. If I promise to send you 17 Bitcoin, you can't turn that promise into a promise for 1,700 Bitcoin or 17 Bitcoin cents. Kennedy pointed to historical overpayments, like the toilet seats, to illustrate how blockchain technology could enhance transparency in government spending. However, the challenge lies in the complexity of recording every government transaction on the blockchain, given the federal budget is approximately $3.8 trillion. The Government Accountability Office has raised concerns that while blockchain technology can increase transparency, it also carries significant risks, such as volatility and fraud. Kennedy continues to advocate for cryptocurrency technology as a tool to bolster the U.S. economy. Last year, he outlined specific Bitcoin-focused policies he would enact as president, including backing the dollar with Bitcoin reserves and making Bitcoin profits exempt from capital gains taxes. My administration's mission of making America the global hub of cryptocurrency, particularly Bitcoin, as a means of incentivizing greater investment in, in green and energy and renewable energy production and attracting uh, engineering investment and innovation to our country. Um, I want, I will clarify some kind of sensible, and I need to think more about this and meet with many of you, but some kind of sensible jurisdiction and governance that recognize that Bitcoin is not a security and should not be regulated as one. Kennedy is gaining momentum, securing a spot on Michigan's ballot, making it the second state after Utah to list him as a presidential candidate. His campaign and supporters claim they've gathered enough signatures in key states like Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, and North Carolina, though these are still awaiting official validation.